is nothing Luddite about the people of Lancashire or of Fylde. And I just want to start by saying, Mr Speaker, how disappointed I am that Parliament was not informed about this before the media, that as a local member of Parliament I was not given the courtesy, despite having requested for two weeks contacting the Honourable Member to get information via his PPS. I've sent letters, I've sent WhatsApps, nothing back. So, Mr Speaker, can we be crystal clear on one thing? The Prime Minister of the Manchester Hustings, it's a matter for public record, you can find the clip, made it crystal clear, no ifs, no buts, no caveats, that fracking would only take place in the United Kingdom where there was local consent. Crystal clear. So if the Prime Minister is to remain a woman of her word, a woman that we can believe in, which I believe she is, can the Secretary of State outline how that local consent will be given and demonstrated in my constituency of fires? Mr Speaker, the Honourable Gentleman uh, would have heard my rival friend, the Prime Minister, in her speech um, on um, energy on the um, 8th of September, saying that we were lifting the moratorium on fracking. So I'm surprised that he feels he wasn't informed, because that has been announced. We obviously want to work with local communities, and it is really important that the companies who seek to extract shale gas come up with packages that make what they're proposing to do welcome to local communities. That is of fundamental importance and is what the Prime Minister has set up. Mr Speaker, despite what he said, is it not the case that forecasting the occurrence of seismic events as a result of fracking remains a challenge to the experts? Is it not therefore creating a risk of an unknown quantity to pursue shale gas exploration at the present time? Yes. Is he aware the safety of the public is not a currency in which some of us choose to speculate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, uh, unusually I disagree with my uh, right honourable friend uh, that it is all a matter of proportionality and that, as I pointed out, the um, uh, movement on uh, the ground level that we have from construction is more than double that, that is about double that that we have had from any instance with shale gas. So we know what has happened before. This poses many questions. What is the local community and how do you define that? How do you ascertain whether or not it can command local support? And what incentives, if any, are going to be provided to local communities to have fracking imposed upon them? My constituents are understandably anxious about fracking returning to the Fylde Coast. And so when will they receive an answer? to some of these questions. So, thank, thank you, Mr Speaker. My honourable friend asks a very important question, because it is important for the national interest that we have secure supplies of gas. That is something important across the House to all constituents. But this will affect some residents much, much more than others, and therefore it is only right that they are compensated and that they receive some financial benefit for the inconvenience that they will have. Speaker, I've listened carefully to the Secretary of State, and I have to say the local consent plans don't seem to wash. It seems to come back to communities being bought off rather than having a vote. So can the Secretary of State confirm once and for all if local residents across Bolsover who are concerned about fracking will get a vote to object to these schemes locally? Um, Mr Speaker, I think I made it very clear that um, the companies will have a deep responsibility to develop packages that make the extraction of shale gas attractive to local communities. It is really important that they succeed within that, in that. Just in mothers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Listening carefully to the Secretary of State this morning, I have yet to hear any explanation of how local consent will be determined. Indeed, an absence of any reference to local consent. But let me try once more. Will my constituents be asked whether they want fracking or not? Mr Speaker, as I have said and the Prime Minister said, we will be looking to have the support uh, of local communities. That is important. And there will be a responsibility for the companies, when they bring forward proposals, to work out how they can get that local consent. And it seems to me pretty clear that that will involve giving money to people to encourage them, um, because they will want to have the benefit locally whilst they are doing something that helps the country nationally.